let's record this. Let's simplify. Pay attention to your order of operations. What you should do is maybe you write that down at the very top of your page. How many steps are there to PEMDAS? Four. You've got parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then adding and subtracting. So the first thing I see here, I mean, I don't see any parentheses, do you? No. Now I do see exponents. So we need to make sure that we take care of the exponents. So this is still 15 plus 3 times 7 squared is 49, and then minus 48 divided by 3. All I have left now is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. What comes first, though? Multiplication and division from left to right. Here's what you need to understand. This multiplication basically sticks these guys together, kind of glues those guys together. And then these guys are kind of glued together as well through the division. Addition and subtraction will separate your, your terms right now. So when I go through this, I still have my 15 plus what's 3 times 49? It's 147 minus, and then you've got 48 divided by 3. Those guys are stuck together, so you perform that operation. 48 divided by 3 is? 16. Now, the only thing that I have left is addition and subtraction. Now, we've talked about addition and subtraction, right? Well, I, well, here's what I really need you guys to see. I need you to be able to see this. Like, this should be going on inside your head, like it goes on inside my head. I have here, I need to combine a positive 15. I've got a positive 147 to combine. And then, in my mind, I see this guy as a negative 16. This is what's going on inside. This is inside of my head. You know, whatever my hair... There we go. Hmm. This is what I'm seeing when I see this problem, okay? So I just need to put this stuff together in the best way possible. Now, I could put together the two green numbers because they're both positive, right? And then do my subtraction. But here's something that I see. I see this positive 15 and negative 16 are really close together, and so they almost cancel each other out. But it can at least give me a smaller number to deal with. So if I look at just these two guys right here, What's a negative, what's a positive 15 and a negative 16? It's a negative 1 because your negative, its absolute value is just a little bit bigger than the positive one, right? And think about it this way. You earn $15, but then you have to spend 16. So that means you're still, you're on the losing side here, right? You don't really have that balanced budget. So that would give me a negative 1. And so it's really 147 and a negative 1. What's positive 147 and a negative 1? 146. So that's one way of doing it. So we've already said, even without writing anything, it's positive 146. If I combine the positive stuff first, positive 15 and positive 147 is what? I'll give you a hint. It's positive. Positive 162, and then I have a minus 16. And really, that's just 162 minus 16, so what do you get? You still get positive 146, just like we said the first time, right? What do you guys think? You guys come up with that too? Watch your size. This one was fairly straightforward, I thought. It's when things start having grouping symbols that it gets to be a little bit more difficult. And here's the thing you need to know about grouping symbols. Grouping symbols can come in the form of parentheses, which are the most common form of grouping symbols. 
but they may also take the form of absolute value, where you have to do what's inside of the absolute value first, then you take the absolute value. There's an order that we have to follow. Now let's look at this guy, 9 times the quantity, 5 divided by 5 minus 5 times 7. So what do I do first here? Well, first I've got parentheses, right? So I can't do 9 times anything yet. I've got to take care of all this stuff inside here. So let's just kind of block that out and focus on what we have here. And when I look at this, I see I've got division, subtraction, and multiplication. So there's no other parentheses. There are no exponents. I do multiplication and division from left to right. So what comes first? The division is going to come first. So I'll take care of this guy first. And then I'll take care of the multiplication second. So nine parentheses, what do we have here? That's one minus. Okay. Now that I took care of that, I'm still working inside the parentheses. So what's one minus 35? It's what? It's not 34, it's negative 34. And then to finish this, it's just a matter of what? Multiplication. But what's your sign going to be? Negative. The sign will be negative. You have a positive times a negative. So 9 times 34. If you need to kind of work that out over here on the side, you can. And this is the kind of stuff that I, I want to see from you. I want to make sure that you can show me this multiplication work. That way... Everybody's on the same page, right? See, I'm about to make a mistake because I'm talking while I'm doing this. 4 times 9 is 36, and then 9 times 3 plus the 3 is what? So I come up with 360. Y'all, did you guys come up with that too? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Questions about these problems here?